close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light, special relativity provides us with a means of going to the stars. Welcome back, everybody, to day 137 of Llamascapes. Started off the day with a little bit of archaeology training, and there is 84 runecrafting picked up. Yeah, this grind is going to be very long, very difficult, but I had to start working on it at some point. Uh, the current goal is that in the next day or two, I get all the way up to 90, then I can purchase the massive pouch and start doing soul runecrafting. Continued working on that uh, archaeology grind well after the daily reset because I picked up a daily challenge. So there's level 98 down, uh, just about 1.2 million XP left to go in this skill. And something we are trying out because I'm just interested in seeing the charm drop rate is the Arc Glacor himself. On just one mechanic, uh, I just have the Frenzy turned on. Uh, and I'm trying it, you know, vampirism or uh, the bunyip out, just kind of casually AFKing, uh, you know, soul split off and everything. Uh, I think I should be fine with healing. Um, I could turn soul split on every now and again, uh, but I just wanted to see, you know, what kind of charm rates uh, are offered here, especially with my gear setup. Um, ultimately, I need about 900 more blue charms. So if this can offer it to me in, in maybe about three hours of grinding, then I Think that's what i'm gonna do so it looks like i'm able to do about 40 to 45 kills an hour more or less um and i think i get something like four charms a kill yeah it's, it's like 4.8 uh charms a kill on average at least uh according to the wiki and, and kind of following with uh with what i have um so if i'm able to do like 40 kills an hour you know that's like 192 blues an hour which when you compare it to something like Calphites, um, it's a little low, but that also requires me using the charm ticket, so I can't just grind it out. So, you know, I'd rather sit here for like four hours uh, and get some other useful drops than, you know, have to do familiarization and stuff for a few more weeks. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to knock this out. Oh, and there we have it. Just uh, managed to charge the ring with a thousand. Uh, so I can now get tier two elder troves. It's not something I uh, ended up doing for the other front, so I might need to go back. Um, so I get those troves just a little more often, but they do seem to be pretty decent loot. On to day 138, and we've made a good bit of progress today so far. Uh, we ended up burning through all of our robust and crystal glass, uh, crystal glass, of course, on ithil hours. So we have quite a few flasks saved up. Uh, let's see, flask. About 3,500 potion flasks and 2,800 crystal flasks. Um, these will be really nice for Herblore, and these will be a pretty stack to have in the bank. Um, we've also done a good bit of summoning, and we are now 480,000 away from 96, the big Pakyak level. One other thing is that we picked up 93 crafting, uh, and we also used a plus four stew boost so that we could open up, uh, yeah, four effigies that we had sitting here in the bank. There's just this one left, which was, uh, you know, 97 summoning or rune crafting. It'll probably be summoning before too long, but we, you know, pumped all of those lamps straight into crafting as well. So we're making, you know, pretty good progress through this level. I think about halfway to 94 now. On to day 139, we have four full Triskelions from Ice Telos, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what they contain. Uh, some herbs, that's that's pretty decent. Uh, seeds are total garbage these days, and yeah, stone spirits that I don't need anymore. Dragon stones are nice, uh, and the elites are just adding to the stack, which is also nice. Uh, yeah, just knocked out another hour, picked up a good uh, 275 blue charms and about 200 crims. And uh, another really nice thing is I opened, you know, the five troves that I had at the end and I picked up another onyx. Um, I don't know how rare that is, but getting an onyx out of like a total of seven or eight tier two troves is, is pretty nice. And we're on day 140, a clean 20 weeks since starting this series. And we're picking up a nice level 96 summoning for Pakyaks now being available. Yeah, uh, 
definitely been looking forward to this one for a while. Just going to finish off the last of my blue charms here and then get to yakking. And a funny thing about, uh, you know, even though I knew I would eventually do pack yaks all the way from 96 to 99, I haven't actually been doing the daily uh, shop run. So <laughs> while I do have, I think, all of the charms that I need, um, I don't actually have all of the hides, which are purchased at like a thousand a day. So, uh, yeah, got a few days to go. Started working on some more rune crafting, and it looks like I am going to run out of essence before I even get level 90 uh, so I could start on souls. So not totally sure uh, what I'm going to do. I think ultimately it's just going to come down to, hey, you got to go back to rune span. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that now or if I'm going to do that later so I can use this essence for soul runes instead. Uh, not not quite decided yet. Uh, but unfortunately, I think we are just going to have to bite the bullet and head back there. On today, 141, spent the entire day in rune span so far, up to 88 RC. Uh, came to uh, Prif for Amlot Hour and just picked up my first Spirit Yak. Um, so that's that's nice. Uh, hopefully I actually get a second one, uh, as those are somewhat handy. Uh, I know they're useful for for uh, a few different things, at least their, their produce is. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to have a breeding pair. Uh, saw that it was Roar, so I moved on to Anachronia and um, just noticed that I have two Spirit Yaks, not just one. So let's uh, let's check both of these, female and male. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, I got that uh, breeding pair knocked out, which is, uh, you know, again, somewhat useful. And on to day 143, I wasn't able to play yesterday because... Well, my power was out uh, due to a tropical storm. Um, yeah, so I ended up missing my penguins, unfortunately. But at least we can we can pick this up uh, today. There's 99 summoning done. Uh, so that's another thing down. That's actually my first full row completed as well. Uh, and I can take that off the daily challenges. And there's another cape to add to the collection. Boom. Add the hood and toss that on. Very nice. And what is it? Provides a chance to not consume a charm when infusing pouches. Well, that would have been nice, uh, you know, a few levels ago. <laughs> and I guess it's nice for the 120 grind, which I don't think I'm going to do. And hey, we're finally uh, able to pick this up. The double surge codex. Uh, yeah, just doing more anachronia agility on roar um, as I, I try to. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know how this, how this works, how you like see the charges and stuff. Is it just, okay, yeah, all right, I have two, uh, two surges available, and then, yeah, I'm guessing the cooldown keeps ticking down. No, it just doesn't show it to you. All right, well, hey, it, it's useful, at least. On to day 144, and there we finally have it. Level 90 rune crafting, just one more skill below 90 now. On today, 145, still only working on rune crafting. We we're up to level 92, um, just shy, well, just past 6.9 million EXP. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is, it is pretty slow, but we have finally finished at least one of the outfits, the Blood Ethereal outfit, which is really nice simply because it allows for free travel here in the rune span. Uh, which means that any of the runes that I, you know, I buy at the beginning or that I uh, gather along the way, those can be used with the uh, yellow wizard. Also, it makes it just so much cheaper to find him. Well, I don't remember what day I last, uh, yeah, made any cliffs. It's day 151 now, I think, and we have been doing rune crafting nonstop since then. And finally, there's there's the thing that we want the 99 that it i've not been having a good time but we're there and i guess we go get the cape from somewhere yes an npc that i would never otherwise talk to shop literally named rune crafting skill cape there we go picked it up and you throw the hood on and you throw it on and there we have it rune crafting skill cape acquired time to go toggle off those daily challenges and we just have four left to go, uh, which, I mean, two of these are 98, so do they really count? 
So the plan now is to work on crafting. We got about four and a half mil left to go for 99. Um, any dailies that I pick up uh, actually for archaeology or for crafting, they're both worth about 120, 130,000. Um, so I'm thinking archaeology, I'll probably get 99 just off of dailies. Uh, dungeoneering, I'll get 99 while going for crafting and crafting. Yeah, uh, I need some dungeoneering tokens still. I still need to max out my, uh, you know, ability to do DG crafting, finish up the elite diary. So yeah, I guess, uh, I guess it's time to go farm those out. So I was doing a little bit of looking at the wiki and uh, also, yeah, this is like what clip number four for today. So kind of wild for me. Um, so I was looking at the wiki uh, at the essential oils because that is the last thing you need for the uh, Anachronia base camp spa. Uh, it takes your XP bonus up from 7% to 10% here on the agility course. Um, I'm actually kind of unlucky on it surprisingly uh yeah so i'm on lap number 51 now and you have about a one in 35 chance of getting it per lap um and if that's boosted by roar uh, i've only done like 10 laps off roar more or less so yeah uh even unluckier um so hopefully i get that pretty soon finished up all of the token farming that i needed to get done with a friend and boom customize skiller artisan upgrade confirm and there that is all of the damonheim tasks complete right uh <laughs> uh what let, let me just double check hard wear a ring and kinship with a fully upgraded role uh where ah <laughs> okay that's that's a little strange but uh there we go all right, there is the lamp for the hard task set and the elite task set. Boom, four lamps from that one. Okay, so all of these are going to be going into crafting because crafting is actually a little bit slower than agility, even without roar. Uh, so yeah, this is all just going straight into crafting. No second guessing. Um, actually, these can't go into agility anyway because I think it's a 90 plus thing. I'm guessing it's a 90 plus thing. So uh Oh, unavailable. I am not sure what I can use this on. Okay, it's 60,000 in a skill 98 or higher, which is why there are only two options that I can't pick. So I'm just going to put it into archaeology because archaeology is the slower of the two. So there we go. And just because it bears repeating, uh, I did all of that just to fully, in quotes, unlock the uh, dungeoneering crafting method. Um, it gives a 10% discount on the hides here, which is super relevant and means that you get 10% more out of each floor, which is actually uh, multiplied by some other things. Also, because the ring is now fully upgraded, uh, it does mean that there's an even better chance to save resources and increase production. Um, <clears throat> uh, also, I think there is a another benefit from the hard set. Yeah, so ultimately, um, finishing the hard and elites, not only does it give that uh, uh, other bonus, but it gives access to an extra gate stone, uh, which is super nice, and you can create it for free. Um, you can teleport to it for free as well. Uh, very nice. And you get access to additional bind slots. Also, it means that you can add a uh, secondary uh, you know, customization here. I think normally people go for something uh, here in Magic. Um as like a DPS increase uh, and it will have full effectiveness, which is, is quite nice. Well, if you're doing the old Drayry methods of skilling, I think you probably max gatherer, but otherwise you should probably max one of these. Um, I know I was a fan of the combust effect in the past, uh, but honestly, the accuracy is probably the best option. But before I start really diving into DG crafting, well, had a DG daily, re-rolled it into archaeology, so let's claim that for about 137k. Pretty nice. Uh, and in order to complete that, I decided to make two tetra compasses that I had banked. So uh, let's pop those open. Um, yeah, okay, just some materials. Of course, always like to see the tomes, which we'll is bank those. One more casket, two more tomes. Very nice. Another half an onyx. And uh, yeah, just some some stuff 
So ultimately, all of that puts me 481k away from 99 archaeology. So I think that's um, four more dailies. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably just finish with dailies. Basically, um, I will have to get some XP in order to actually complete those dailies in between. So um, yeah, maybe I end up getting there just randomly finishing an item. Um, but yeah, uh, in between that, just got to grind out the uh, crafting and agility. And DG will take care of itself. On to day 152, doing some DG crafting, as expected. And uh, I, I've i never seen this much before. Um, 1,687 hide at the end of this floor. Wh what? <laughs> that's going to be... It's going to be like 50 or 60,000 crafting by the end of this. Uh, I'm going to be crafting for like the next 15 minutes. <laughs> so ending off that floor, I ended up getting about 62,000 crafting in 21 minutes. Or about 177k an hour. So uh, if that's the best I've ever seen, I've got, I've got a while to go. On today, 153. And we just got level 90 in all skills uh, by getting 90 agility finally. Uh, also did quite a bit of crafting today and picked up 96. So making good progress there. Um, yeah, the next lap after I hit level 90, I'm pretty sure it's the next lap, uh, finally get the essential oils. And the funny thing about that is you actually need level 90 in order to do the base camp upgrade to begin with. So I'm feeling a little bit conspiratorial that they just can't drop before 90 and then they suddenly appear. But anyway, I'm going to, uh, yeah, take this and upgrade as soon as I finish this lap. All right, on to day 154, doing more DG crafting, and there is 99. Dungeoneering finally picked up. Yes, okay, let, let us get a, a cape. <laughs> All right, how's it going, Mr. Thok? Give me the hood, give me the cape. And uh, yeah, this one is actually quite useful. Uh, I really always liked the ability here where we can uh, teleport to the resource dungeons. It's quite nice. Um, don't really care for the, the legacy look, like the ring, uh, but I can deal with that. On today, 157, we are back at Chuck. It is time to look at our hide and seek points. We have 163 that we can burn through. And let me just go ahead and pick up one of these small lamps and show you what we are finishing up. Boom. There is 98 crafting picked up. We're going to burn straight through to 99 with these lamps, but I don't want to overdo it because I want to save the rest for agility. So uh, let's get it done. All right. There's the last drop. There is 99 crafting picked up. So we just have two to go, right? 183,000 archaeology left to go. About seven and a half million agility left to burn through. That also leaves us with about 20 points left over. I'm just going to wait until 98 agility to use those because it, why not? All right. Only got three more of these capes to pick up. Boom. There is the crafting cape. And, uh... Yeah, this one was super useless, right? The ability to never require thread while crafting. But the chance to cut all gems, that's a new thing since the last time I played. That might be that might be nice to have. Uh yeah, I, I do like the uh the trimmed tan look as well. I can't believe old school actually has a bank chest here. And we we can't get that. We <laughs> we just get the deposit box. Alright, y'all. All right, did a little bit of work on agility, and here is the double escape codex unlocked. Boom, now the rest of this can just uh, be sold for money, I guess. I can sell the tradable versions. Um, okay, I mean, they go they go for like 30 mil, so that's something. On today, 158, which is monthly reset. We've been doing a ton of agility today. Up to 93, about 5.5 mil to go. But we do have this little thing to restore. Let's just go ahead and hit that button. And, uh, well, that's something else off our plate. Another little golden border gotten. 99 archaeology. Now, let's instantly disassemble that for some vintage components. Um, yeah, very far away from actually getting the achievements, too. Uh, I took a look at this, and I have 102 more to excavate, but... 204 more to restore so that's going to take a while uh, i'll probably just do tetras with that as well 
Um, but that officially puts us six levels away from the max cape. And uh, yeah, I can just go ahead and pick this up right here. Ask about skill capes and purchase. Yes, there we go. Uh, so I, I believe this is a pretty important uh, skill cape. Provides an extra sprite focus and the ability to modify relic powers at banks. Never mind, it's the uh, the 120 cape that is quite good, but I do love the look of this one. The white with the black trim is quite nice. And as for this last skill, I just did a little bit of math, and I think um, I'm probably going to end up making it to the next weekly reset. I'd like to finish before it if I can, uh, but if I can't, then I'm going to be using penguins, of course. Uh, also, Tears of Guthix, and I can go ahead and use the uh, Troll Monthly, since Monthly Reset just did pass. Um, but all of those things taken into account, I have about 200 laps of this course left to go, and then I think I'm done. Uh, of course, every lap done on Roar is 25% more of a lap, um, so that can, that can cut down on it a little bit. Uh, but yeah... Uh, Fun thing about that number, too, though, is is with my average lap, you know, call it seven minutes, maybe, uh, if I'm just kind of chilling, then uh, that puts me at just under 24 hours to go. And that is an interesting milestone to hit. And another time skip on today, 163. Yeah, constantly doing agility. That is all that we have been doing uh, for days now. That's that's why I have like 2,600 codex pages on me. If I claim that reward, there we have level 98 picked up. And I think I don't have to do any more laps. I'm not actually totally sure, uh, but there are a lot of different rewards that I can go pick up right now. Some dailies, you know, weeklies, monthly D&Ds that I can knock out. Uh, and I plan on doing quite a few achievement diaries, which I haven't done just yet. Uh, which has quite a bit of XP banked in them, um, you know, depending on which ones I decide to do. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. Should be maxing tomorrow on day 164. Gonna do a little stream. I'm sure y'all will see it because it's gonna be the next clip. And there is the Sears task set done just to round out day 163. Uh, doing this, of course, for the XP lamps which is quite a bit of XP uh, altogether. So there's 25 and 30, so that's 55,000, uh, 85,000, 115, and I think 145 with this last one. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty solid chunk. Also, I've redeemed my penguin points now, so we have just 616k to go. Starting off day 164 by doing all of the Falador hard easy, medium, and elite task sets. Uh, so let's claim this last reward. It's funny that the elite set was actually the first one done. Um, but anyway, all this going straight into agility as well. I think this is like 200,000 EXP. Let's see, that's that's 130 so far, 160, uh, 170, 175, and then I think 176. Yeah, pretty nice. And here's another achievement diary done. Just empty my giant pouch here. Boom. I totally didn't bring a massive pouch or anything the first time I tried to finish this. <laughs> All right. There are the beautiful rewards. I can't remember just how much XP this is, but I think it's 200,000, right? Yeah, that is... That is very nice. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Uh, we are 231k away from 99 now. All right, Edgeville is looking back to normal, something I should have done a long time ago, probably, but there's rebuilding Edgeville done. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize I needed to do this in order to get chances at the Effie pet, so I possibly missed the pet already. Uh, but hey, there's some more agility XP putting me just 96k away. Well, I did a Broken Home replay, so weekly reward is a Prismatic Lamp for agility XP. And then I've got these seven, eight, and nine rewards just sitting here. So uh, yeah, seven is going to finish my agility. Eight and nine, I have no idea. Probably just going straight into Herblore, uh, where I'd guess. Uh, but now it's time to head to Varrock and wait until uh, tonight, because I made a little announcement, going to turn on a stream to actually finish the maxing. You know how it goes. 
so yeah in all reality i would be done at about 16 12 game time and not uh you know not reset hour but hey you know i i can wait all right we'll hit the button And we are done. <laughs> All right, get on over here, Max. All right, nice cape you have there. Yeah, 2.7 mil. I will take one. Just one for now. Pick up that Max hood. Go ahead and attach it. And there we go. Series accomplished. And see, this is going to be the fun part here, because I have not looked recently. I am not sure what this is going to say. Let me log into my rune metrics. Oh, I got to give got to give it a, a little hop real quick. See, I want to see this the same time as everyone else. Let's go ahead and pop the window capture up. 63 days and six hours. That there is a pretty solid time, I have to say. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't have my max broad my max uh thing showing up in the log here. It says ninety eight agility. Hold on a second. Hold on. Do I have to like? I might have to log out instead of just lobbying. Uh, anyway. 63 days and six hours. I am, I'm pretty happy about that. The, uh, the time that I was trying to beat, let me pull it up again. I have it saved on Reddit, even though it's a, like, post that got zero attention by anybody else. Let's see here. I don't actually remember if I have it saved on. Yeah, let me see. Oh, right here. So the fastest Iron Man I could find other than me is someone called uh, Sad E-Girl. Right here, Sad E-Girl, 68 days. It's the fastest time uh, uh, because pre-invention, the record was at about 85 days. This was post-invention, but it's pre-archaeology, which is really important. Um, yeah, so 68 days playtime. I beat that by, I mean, almost five days. Let's see. Got to break out the calculator. 24 times 5, minus 6, 114 hours less. Uh, but you got to add in the archaeology. 1 to 99 takes like 150 to 200 hours. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm real happy about that. Let me see. Completed in under 6 months, 162 days. And I finished on day 164 right after taking a two-day break. <laughs> Because I went out of town uh, Friday and Saturday and didn't play at all. Um, yeah. I can be pretty happy about that, though. Playtime's what, what matters, I think. So, um, yeah, picked it up. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Year and a Half Later Llama. So um, I had this video, uh, at least all the clips for it, sitting on my hard drive um, for a while. And, uh, <laughs> let's just say that the, the last like year and a half has been very busy in my personal life. Um, but also, uh, the fact that like, as soon as I hit, um, Max Cape, uh, just kind of referring back to that last clip that y'all just saw, uh, one, I found out that it wasn't quite the fastest time. There is one person that, that has a, faster speed though they might have been using things like uh jack of trades or other auras and stuff that i tried not to use because i thought i could you know i thought i could beat the 68 day goal without them and i did beat it i just didn't know someone else had already done it um so anyway 
there's there's that uh that that kind of made my dopamine from <laughs> from hitting that goal uh fall off a cliff dramatically um so th- there was that and then there was like yeah there was there was a ton happening in my personal life uh i ended up uh g- getting a new very stressful job for about a year then just uh moved into a new role after that um we i i, I got married uh, I adopted a dog and we've purchased a house. So <laughs> if, if y'all can not fault me too much for uh, putting, you know, my little hobby projects on the side uh, for a while, um, then yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of where I've been. It's what's been going on. Um, yeah. So sorry, I couldn't get this out sooner. I mean, I definitely could have gotten it out sooner. It was just, it was just a sore spot. I didn't really want to touch the folder that was just sitting there on my hard drive it it just you know it wasn't only positive feelings that i was getting from it so um anyway here's the video uh there will be some new stuff coming soon uh on the old school side of things i kind of teased that a few days ago uh on my community tab um yeah anyway thanks for watching and uh yeah hope you enjoyed uh you know t- to be fair the whole time the the finale was was kind of existing uh, in a stream VOD somewhere, I think. Uh, so, <laughs> so you could have caught it if you went to my my Twitch VODs, uh, assuming I have those enabled still. Uh, but anyway, that's everything. I'm just gonna throw this up unedited right on the end. Boom, series finale done. <laughs>